Hello friends, I welcome you all to the course on Andhra Pradesh Geography. Andhra Pradesh Geography is a very important topic for APPSC exams. Andhra Pradesh had 13 districts earlier. Right now, we have 26 districts. So this is not going to make any difference for those who are preparing for APPSC. When Andhra Pradesh had 13 districts, the average district area is much greater compared to the other states. Even now, the area of each districts are higher in compared to the area of districts of other states. I will discuss physical geography of Andhra Pradesh based on world district maps of Andhra Pradesh and then we will see how we will apply this to the new district map of Andhra Pradesh. And I want this to be a very interactive discussion. So those who have any doubts, please ask your doubts in the comment section. And if you want any live session, please let me know in the comment section. And those who have not subscribed to the Master Learning YouTube channel, please subscribe and press the notification bell icon. I will discuss the political map of India in Indian geography videos. Here I will focus on Andhra Pradesh. Let's see the boundaries of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh sharing its boundary with Tamil Nadu in this area. It is also sharing its border with Karnataka. It shares its boundary with Telangana in the north. More importantly, Andhra Pradesh also shares its border with Chhattisgarh and it also shares its border with Orissa. So the border states of Andhra Pradesh are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Telangana, Chhattisgarh and Orissa. Andhra Pradesh has coastline with Bay of Bengal. This is the world districts map of Andhra Pradesh. Here also you can see the boundaries of Andhra Pradesh more clearly. This is Tamil Nadu and this region is Karnataka and this is Telangana. You can see clearly Chhattisgarh is sharing its border with Andhra Pradesh that is East Godavari district and Andhra Pradesh is also sharing its border with Orissa. So first in the old Andhra Pradesh map which districts were sharing its border with Orissa we will see. Srikakulam is sharing its border with Orissa and then Vijayanagaram was also sharing its border with Orissa and then Vishakapatnam district also shared its border with Orissa and then East Godavari shared its border with Orissa. Four districts shared its border with Orissa. West Godavari is not bordered to Orissa, only East Godavari is bordered to Orissa. So four districts were bordered to Orissa. And then Chhattisgarh is bordered to East Godavari district. And East Godavari district 
is also border to telangana and the districts which share border with telangana are karnool prakasham guntur krishna west godavari and east godavari i repeat the districts which shared its border with telangana were karnool prakasham guntur krishna west godavari and east godavari three districts shared its border with karnataka which were karnool anantapur and then chittur so two districts which shared its border with tamil nadu were chittur and nellur so i will ask you one question so among the 13 districts of andhra pradesh which district is a land locked district so among 13 districts of andhra pradesh which district is a land locked district please answer in the comment section andhra pradesh is also border to the union territory of puducherry because we have yanam districts here close to east godavari district in andhra pradesh we have two regions one is coastal andhra and the other is rayalaseema coastal andhra contains nine districts srikakulam vijayanagaram visakhapatnam east godavari west godavari krishna guntur prakasham and nellur rayalaseema includes the districts karnool anantapur kadapa and chittur i i am going to divide andhra pradesh map into two groups the first group includes districts from here to here srikakulam vijayanagaram visakhapatnam east godavari west godavari krishna guntur is my first group and second group i will place karnool prakasham anantapur kadapa nellur and chittur the reason i divide the old andhra pradesh districts map into two groups because i can see these districts karnool and prakasham lies almost on the same latitude also anantapur kadapa nellur also lies on the same latitude and also the river pennar flows from anantapur to kadapa and from kadapa to nellur finally it joins bay of bengal the three major rivers of andhra pradesh are godavari godavari enters andhra pradesh from telangana river krishna enters andhra pradesh from telangana river pennar enters andhra pradesh from karnataka if you see godavari river enters andhra pradesh in the borders of east and west godavari districts and river krishna enters andhra pradesh in karnool district i repeat this is a very important point for the exam river krishna enters andhra pradesh in karnool district and river pennar enters andhra pradesh in anantapur districts there are several minor rivers of andhra pradesh that i will discuss in a separate video andhra pradesh shares its borders with tamil nadu karnataka telangana chatisgarh and orissa it also shares border with union territory of puducherry 
Andhra Pradesh is a coastal state and Andhra Pradesh has the second longest coastline after Gujarat. Andhra Pradesh is the seventh largest state in India and India is the seventh largest country in the world. Amaravati is the capital of Andhra Pradesh and Vishakhapatnam is the largest city in Andhra Pradesh. Yeah, with this, I will end my first video. Yeah, please inform your friends to follow AP Geography lectures and I am going to start Telangana Geography videos as well soon. Thank you for watching the video.